All right, so you wanna spice up your videos just a little bit more or in this case, a lot more. You wanna go from that boring, plain old background to having a nice gradient background, but better yet, a gradient background that is animated. So the colors are moving and it looks super cool and super professional. That's exactly what you're gonna learn. All right, so jumping right into After Effects, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just click on the application and then it's going to open up. Then you'll be greeted with this page here. What you're gonna to wanna to do is click New Project. Then you'll be taken to this page here. Now, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is click New Composition. Then this pop-up will come up, keep everything here the same, just click OK. Then what we're gonna wanna do, something I like to do is go up to File, go up to Save As, and then when you do that, it'll save your project. So I'm gonna save this to my external hard drive, gonna name the project, uh, Crown, and then Save. Perfect, so now we're good to go, we're good to start. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you could just come over here and right click your mouse, come to New, and come to Solid. And then we're going to create a new solid. Make sure that this is black. If it's white for you, just take, click on the color icon and then just drag it down to black. Come up here and let's name it background. And then come over here and click OK. Perfect. OK, so now we're going to go over to the effects tab, which is going to be over here to the right effects and presets. What we're going to do is we're going to click on the search icon and just type in gradient. And we're going to look for four color gradient, which is right here. We're going to drag and drop that onto our layer, onto our solid. And then you will see that now the four colors have appeared. So I'm going to quickly explain to you what this is. So as you can see, you can see four points, this point, this point, this point, this point. So yellow is point one. Then you have point two, point three, point four. All these points are different colors. And you can actually drag and drop and move these points to change your gradient in different ways right so you can have a lot of fun with this so what we're going to do is we're going to change the color to e of each of these gradients so maybe i'll do a little bit like orange for this one okay and then maybe i'll do like a maybe a, a teal kind of like light blue maybe around there and then for this one maybe i'll go up to the red do a darker red and then for this one, maybe I'll do almost a purplish color. Perfect. Now, as you can tell, these are pretty harsh right here. So I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move these points a little bit more towards the middle. You can just, you know, have fun with this. It's, it, the, a lot of this part's just preference. Uh, and then to make these less harsh, to make them blend better, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna come over here to the blend. And I like to bring this up to around 250. And then you can definitely see the difference there. So like the more you go, the more they all blend together, the further down you go, the harsher they get. So I like to keep this around 250 ish. And I think that, that looks really nice. Now, before we get into actually animating this gradient background, I literally want to take seconds to tell you that we just launched a course on Skillshare on how to edit viral short form content everything you need to know on how to edit short form content inside premiere pro and the first 50 people who click the link below will get into the course completely for free without actually having to sign up for the paid skillshare account we only have a link for 50 people to join for free so guys if you want to take this course it's going to be the first link down in the description below make sure you take action on this opportunity now let's get back into actually animating this gradient background so to animate this gradient background what we're going to do is we're going to keep our anchor points how they are we're going to make sure that our playhead down here at the timeline is at the very beginning, at the start of our clip. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come over to point one. We're going to click this stopwatch and we're going to come over to point two, click the stopwatch. And we're going to do the exact same thing for point three and point four. Now, once that's done, then what you can do is you can move your playhead to where you want your video to end. So I want my gradient background to last for about six seconds. So I'll bring it to the six second mark. Then what I'll do is I'll take these points and I'll move them around the screen. So I'll bring the yellow here. I'll bring the red up. Maybe the purple I'll bring over here and the blue I'll bring down, right? And then what happens is you just created keyframes. So when you play it back, you see your gradient begins to move. Just like that. Now, what I really want to do is I want to make this movement a little bit smoother, a little bit more professional. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to our timeline here in After Effects. We're going to come to this arrow over here and we're going to click on that. And then we're going to come into Effects and we're going to click on the drop down there. The four gradient, click on the drop down again. 
And then under here, you'll see position and colors. What we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna click that drop down one more time, and then we'll see all of our keyframes here. Now, what you wanna do is you're gonna wanna highlight all these keyframes. You're gonna wanna right click on the keyframes, come to keyframe assistant, and then click on easy ease. And what that's going to do is it's going to make the keyframes move a lot smoother. So let's start that back. And we have a six second gradient background with smooth keyframes and a smooth gradient animation. So you can get really creative with this. You can have a lot of fun. You can have the color change over time as well. So over that span of six seconds, if I wanted to change the color, what I could do is keyframe the red here at the start, come to the end, and then I can actually change that color to, uh, let's say, green, right? And then what happens is if you play it back, you'll see that color change over time. So it's really cool stuff. You can change the color over time. You can animate it. You can get super creative with this. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, please subscribe to this channel and give it a like and let me know what you want to see next. Thanks for watching.